Well, for the first extra point, I was I was just happy that it was an extra point, so that uh, I didn't really have to think about it. Um, I do them all the time. The first thing was I didn't have to worry about the snap because of Jim Brown. Didn't have to worry about the hold. They're always perfect at uh, practice every time. And uh, my main focus was contact. So as long as I just get the right contact, it'll go through. That's my main thoughts on that one. Coach Sweeney said he would just prefer to go ahead and score touchdowns and not worry about the field goals. Did you hear that sentiment? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, it, being in football, it's not really an individual sport. So I'm really just out there to uh, do what the team needs. If they need me to kick a field goal, I'll kick a field goal. Um, if they need me to kick an extra point, I'll be glad to kick an extra point. So whatever the team needs. Realizing that the reality is you will have to try a field goal at some point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to kick one Saturday as opposed to having to go out there five nights later at Louisville? I would say yes, um, just because being at home in Clemson, being able to do it in front of the Clemson family per se, um, if I do happen to miss my first field goal, sure, I certainly hope I don't. But um, if I do happen to do it, I would rather do it at home in front of the people I'm more comfortable with instead of at Louisville when people would be going nuts and uh, I'd have more to worry about. Take us back to your genesis with this program. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it came to be. I mean, you walked on and just came to a tryout? Or um, the main thing was before my freshman year up at Clemson, um, I came to the summer kicking camp just to see how it would go. But um, it went well, at least I thought it went well. But um, they didn't decide to bring me on, so I was like, okay, I still want to go here as a school. Like I said before, my little sister goes here. And uh, I wanted to be an architect because my, uh, some of my aunts and uncles are architects. And uh, I've been growing up doing house projects all the time with my dad. And uh, I mean, I just felt like it was the place to be. I loved it up here, the environment, everything that they have going on. Um, so I thought I'd go here to school, and then I was like, I mean, there's a walk-on tryout, so why not? You don't have anything to lose. So I did it, and it worked out. <laughs> you were there all during the year. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's say your first field goal opportunity is at Louisville. Tell me what's the mindset with 60,000 people going nuts, coming down on top of you. How do you block that out? The main thing is stick with the process. Um, yes, the environment may make a difference, but um, in terms of blocking everything out, you just have to focus on the kick because it's the same grass, it's the same upright, so why overthink it? Were you aware of this summer all the different names that Coach Sweeney had for you before we finally got your name right? <laughs> yeah, I was aware. I was aware. <laughs> was the same way in practice? Can you never remember your name in practice? I mean, I remember one distinct time when uh, – I had to go up and kick the 48-yarder at the end of the practice, and uh, everybody was going crazy. And the first two guys went up and kicked it, and I went up there, and Dabo looks at me, and he's like, what's your first name again? And I was like, oh. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> after that, I was like, OK, at least, at least make them, give them a reason to remember it. So <laughs> yeah, I was aware. <laughs> so from then on, did it improve? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. From then on. Called me Hugo, and then eventually Greg started coming out. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you're sitting in the stands watching games unfold, are you thinking, "Hey, that could be me. I can do that"? Whenever I first initially visited Clemson, whenever uh, my sister was a freshman, I was still in high school. Um, I sat. I remember my first game. I surprised her for her birthday, and I was in the uh, upper stands, and uh, <laughs> I came down and uh, like, surprised her and everything. And I was sitting there. I was like, "This is awesome." It was my first Clemson game, and I really didn't know what to expect. Saw them run down the hill, everything, and uh, I never thought that I could be in that position. But um, it was really just a dream for me, and I'm glad that it came true. Uh, I guess the Catman was kicking. That. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you talked to him ever? Have you ever had a chance to? Just... Cat and Zaro? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, I work with Dan Orner, and uh, he's just one of my kicking coaches that I go to, and. Uh, <laughs> Catman was actually at the last camp that I went to, and he was probably, he's probably been at two or three just helping out because he works with him as well. And uh, if I ever had any questions and say Dan Warner was like a little busy or something talking with another uh, kicker, then I could easily go to Catman and say, hey, could you watch my uh, steps on this one or watch my follow through or something like that? And uh, he was more than happy to help out.
practice with at home and just kick for out I mean, the main thing was um, champions are made when no one's looking. So if you really want to uh, be a champion or if you really want to be on the uh, big stage someday, such as Clemson, um, I never thought that would happen. Uh, I never knew how big of a school I would be at or whether I'd be at a school at all. All I knew was this is the dream that I wanted to accomplish. So, and that's the type of work that I had to put into it. Was it hard to keep working even though Dad would told you last year we don't have a spot for you right now, come back next year? Not necessarily because I knew that's what I wanted to do. And um, I'm not going to lie, before every single game or during or at halftime and everything, when all the kickers would be warming up, everybody would be sitting there talking or like going to the bathroom or stuff like that. And I'd be sitting there watching the other kickers. And um, I knew like that's what I wanted to do. So just keep working for it, and maybe it'll work out. Did you feel like you had a ride when that was you found you in the Bilo parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know where that came from. <laughs> but. Um, Coming up with the nickname, the grocery store kicker, for the first nickname at Clemson, um, I don't know how I felt about it, but a, a nickname is better than nothing, right? So. <laughs> uh, obviously, in a couple weeks, Emma Lake will be back in the fall. Mm -hmm. How do you anticipate that going into like, uh, obviously, it's going to be open competition here? Yes, sir. Um, I haven't really thought about it. Um, like Coach says all the time, season starts, so it'd be starting uh, yesterday. It's a one-week season, and uh, the only thing you have to worry about is that week itself. But um, for whenever he comes back, I would say the pressure is a lot is a lot more, and um, it doesn't really change anything though. I've been working at practice, and he'd be coming up to me, giving me pointers like, "Hey, it's all about the process." We'd talk about some things, work on the form, and uh, I don't really look at him as a competitor right now. I just look at him as a teammate. But uh, I know whenever he comes back, he'll definitely give me a run for my money. Um, <laughs> that's a funny question because I played soccer all my life and uh, started at a very young age. It's the only thing I really ever did. And um, my brother, Steve, actually kicked at USC. And so whenever he'd be kicking, um, say he'd go out to practice and anything, I'd be the guy going back there and catching all his balls and throwing them back. And um, I didn't really think much of it, but <laughs> I wanted to quit playing soccer to play football because I was tired of not being able to hit anybody. And I wanted to get just a little bit of aggression out. And um, so I went, it was at B team, and ended up being, I wanted to try out for safety. They said I could do it, and the varsity team needed a kicker. They didn't have anybody, so they came to the B team. Um, actually, Coach Seitz did. And he said, have any of you ever played soccer? And me and my buddy Jake were like, yeah, we did. So uh, we both went out there and just started kicking. And like I knew what to do because of my brother. And um, I mean, I just started making them. And my buddy Jake, he became the punter. So <laughs> from then on, I wasn't allowed to do safety or anything like that. I was just a kicker. Uh, for varsity, I was freshman through senior year. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Did you feel like the underdog coming in because there was a couple guys that were already here that were in the program a little bit and you kind of feel like you had a long way to go? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Both Alex Spence and Christian Grooms are great kickers, and uh, I knew that coming into it. So, like I was saying before, I can't really think about all that because that just gives you one more thing to think about whenever you're about to do the kick. And uh, you already have a lot of stuff to think about. So coming into it, I knew I was going to be the underdog. I, I knew nobody would really give me a, a second look. But um, I feel as if whenever I started making the long ones, then I started getting people's attention. And um, after that, kind of the bricks kind of fell into place. You just mentioned your affinity for hitting people. Did you follow Spencer Brennan's career? And I definitely did. I definitely did. Um, that'd be awesome. I do remember a couple of times in high school when I thought I'd be able to lay a guy out and I failed miserably. But uh, <laughs> having the opportunity would be really cool. How comfortable, and what range are you comfortable Where are you comfortable? If there's no wind or anything, 
Um, I'd say I'm comfortable within 45, but outside of that, then you start thinking, okay, you really got to put your leg into this. And uh, so I'd say that. Um, in terms of progressing to a certain point throughout my career, I wouldn't really say I've thought about all that yet. My goals as of right now are just, okay, make all the field goals that they need you to make for the team. And if it works out, it works out. But if I don't have any field goal attempts, I don't have any field goal attempts. That would be awesome because that means we're scoring touchdowns. But uh, <laughs> in terms of goals, um, do you mean overall distance for a field goal yeah, or just in general? I'm, it'd be awesome to make a really long field goal. Over 50 would be sweet. Um, just because I know that was my fur, my furthest uh, field goal in high school was 51, so I'm, I want to beat that. that. I guess you could say that's a goal for me then. Were you ever like an all region or all state kicker? Uh, yes, sir. I was all region my sophomore, junior, and senior. 